Hello everyone. So I am either 10 or 11 DPO. So I'm going to take a test, even though it's after work. If you can't tell, I'm in my work attire. Well, it was jeans day. Woo! Anyways, it's after work, so it's afternoon. So it's not first morning urine or anything, but I'm just going to give it a try and see what happens. And if not, we'll just either wait till the IF comes or we will test again with morning urine. So here I go. Oh, by the way, as usual, I'm using my trusty sidekick, Wanfo. And here, oh, let's put it on the down. It's easier to see this way. And here is my blank pregnancy test. So here we go. All right, so I have my specimen sample, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to dip it now. One, two, three. That's what it says. And then down my, maybe my cup. Okay, I'm a looker today. I don't know why, I'm just, oh, this is bad. So, and by the way, a disclosure, I don't know what that mark on my test is. It's not exactly supposed to be there. So, of course, the line already comes up and, you know, makes it evident the test is working. I don't see anything yet. I don't see a hint of anything, guys. I think it's just gonna be a BFN. But, who knows, it isn't morning urine, and I am still, it's eight, I'm 10 or 11 DPO. Some people say they don't get you know positive results that early. Or I could just be I'm moving right along, almost to my next cycle, who knows? But I'm just gonna check it again in about five minutes um, and see, make sure there's nothing there. Um, if so, I'll come back with y'all, but if not, it'll be until my next test or my next vlog. So have a good day, guy girls, girls, guys, whatever you are. <laughs> Bye. Hi, guys. So first of all, I do, I do have, I do have pants on. I just wanted to clear that up because I, I sat down in front of my camera and I was like, wow, this kind of looks like I don't have pants on. Anyways, so... Obviously, you just saw that I got a negative, big fat negative, and that was cycle day 10, and I would have been 13 or 14 DPO today, but cycle day five, or cycle five, day one, is here officially, so honestly, I can't really say, like, I'm not really sad, like, I'm not, like, I would have been a so super happy, obviously. I would have been jumping out. I don't even know. I can't even tell you how excited I'd be if I when I see a BFP for the first time ever. But I'm not like down in the dumps right now. I guess it's because I have a couple things going on, on the side that kind of make it exciting to like look forward to. Uh, for instance, I'm attempting to do a um, eight or ten day cleanse, um, possibly, and I haven't decided if I'm going to do the just the food portion of the cleanse where you're just eating like certain foods or if I'm going to also add on the like vitamins that come with it or not come with it but you can do with it so I'm kind of like thinking do I just steal this company's idea with the food logic or do I actually buy their product too I haven't decided yet um my older sister is doing it she just had a baby uh, about six weeks ago and so she's doing it um just to kind of get back on track with her uh, workouts and just where she was at before she got pregnant so I haven't really decided if I'm, first of all, 100% going to do it, but I really want to. Um, and then just if I'm going to do the food part or adding the vitamins to it as well. Um, it's called Advocare. Uh, I really don't like to promote things that I haven't tried yet. I'm not promoting it at all. Just kind of letting you know my idea. If you've ever done one, a cleanse while you're TTCing, please let me know because I'm kind of nervous too. Like I don't want to like try it like I don't want to not get the nutrients I really need or the vitamins I really need while I'm we're TTC. And so for those of you more experienced gals out there, please just let me know if you have any advice or comments on doing the cleanse when you're TTC. Um, also, 
I am, hold on, let me just think what I was going to say. Okay, I got it. Sorry about that. All right, so this cycle also I've decided because I've been thinking about it and I, I'm still going to do my OPKs because I do want to kind of know if my body's consistently like ovulating around the same time in my cycle. So I do want to know that, but I'm all been, honestly, I'm going to try my best, my hardest not to symptom track because I just feel like this time around, like it didn't really stress me out, but I kept feeling things that obviously were not implantation or pregnancy symptoms because here I am so I think I'm just honestly I was paying attention to my body like extremely detailed attention to my body and I'm just noticing things that probably have been happening beforehand before we were trying um that I just I didn't notice before because I wasn't really paying attention um so I'm gonna really try not to symptom track and I again I'll still do my OPKs I'm still gonna probably do the whole proper legs up thing <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I know it's not TMI to some people, but to others it may be. Um, I think we should probably BD a lot more than we did this last time. I think this last month was just off because I was sick. I was getting better after being like sick for kind of about a month or so. Um, just really bad sinus infection that I was I was fighting off. So I think that probably was kind of part of it because I just didn't really feel like doing much of anything. Um, but I am very, very optimistic. I am not giving up yet. Um, I will never give up because this is something I want and I've wanted forever. But here we go. Cycle five. It's crazy. It's already been five cycles that we've been trying. And I know it's, I've been with you and this TTC community for a month for a cycle. I can't believe I've already been on this community for a cycle. Like it seems so crazy. It's just, it seems like it's went by so fast at the same time, horribly slow. But anyways, so yes, I'm going to try not to symptom track. I'm going to try out this 8-10 um, day cleanse most likely, which will hopefully get me into a habit of eating just healthier foods all around, which I know helps a lot. And then also, um, no also, just kidding. I don't know why I even said that. That's pretty really, that's really pretty much it. Um, I hope everyone out there somewhere in our community has got a BFP this cycle because we all know we all deserve it. And I'm so excited to hear about some BFPs from everyone. And if not, keep going and never give up because it's going to be so worth it when we get that. Whether you've never seen a BFP or you have seen a BFP and you just haven't had a successful pregnancy, like either way, don't give up girls because we're in this together. Speaking of in this together, I did do, I do have a new Instagram account now. I have one now where it's just my TTC Instagram um, and now I can actually post things that are TTC related more frequently and only people that understand what we're going through will see it. Therefore, I won't look crazy and nuts. And plus, I just, not everybody in my world knows what we're doing and they, I don't want them to. So I think that adds a lot of stress and expectation, I guess. So I did a new, t or I did a new Instagram. It's TTC underscore dreambound 88. So very similar to my old one, but I did change it up a bit. I'll put the link to that below. It is also now connected to my home profile of YouTube, where if you just click on it, it takes you right to the website, um, as well as my Twitter. So check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram. I post on there constantly, all the time, more often than you'll ever see me on here. So check those out, and please subscribe and like, and I can't wait to give you guys some more videos, and I can't wait to see your guys' videos, because I'm dying to see some tests, and I'm dying to see some positives, but... That's all I really have for now, girls. I hope you have a really good weekend, and I look forward to seeing your videos and your pretty faces in the future. Bye.